Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another watch list. Basically, think of this as a monthly TV guide for me to let you know what and when TV shows that I'm interested in, that maybe you're interested in, are coming out. Like always, in the description down below, I'll include links to any trailers that might be available to anything that I bring up during this watch list. On March 4th on Prime Video, we have The Boys Present Diabolical. It is this animated anthology series, uh upset in the universe of the boys now whether it's going to be canonical or not i don't think it is but it's just going to be like very humorous and you know bloody stories told in the uh boys universe um it seems like some of them are going to be done in different art styles i think different people are doing them so uh just from what we saw in the trailer it seems crazy and wild and interesting just like the boys itself so i think this is a nice like little tied over until uh season three comes back in june and so I i'm excited you know just what we saw it just seemed like a lot of interesting fun so i'm curious to see what stories we get told like i said i don't think any of it's going to be canonical but it still just seems like a fun time so i'm excited on march 6 on stars we have a new series called shining veil vale. essentially it's this kind of Comedy, comedy supernatural series where basically a writer and her family move into this new house but the new house is kind of haunted and basically she gets possessed by a ghost who basically is helping her write uh, her story so it seems like it looks like it's supposed to almost be like this shining parody is kind of what it it seems like uh just from the trailer alone it seems really interesting it's got courtney cox in it so when i originally watched it i thought they were going to lean in more to the horror element of it but it seems like it's a comedy but maybe it's a comedy horror or maybe just a straight up comedy i don't know it just seemed weird and crazy and wild but um I'm really interested to kind of deep dive on the show when it airs. On March 8th on the CW, we have season 8 of The Flash returning. Obviously, we're picking up after the far uh, five-part uh, Armageddon, uh, you know, crossover event, I guess you would call it. Um, I'm excited to see where the rest of the season takes us. Obviously, uh, trailers come out to kind of give us a little peek of, you know, what Barry's kind of having to deal with. Obviously, you throw in the little singer at the end of Armageddon, which shows... Oh, Nora and uh, Bart are, you know, doing some stuff kind of off in their own, doing their own thing, kind of shenanigan field adventures. So we're going to get a little bit of that. Also seeing what Team Flash is doing, uh, new threats uh, they have to face uh, in Central City. But uh, regardless, I'm excited to um, have the flashback and see where things uh, take us going forward. Also on March 9th on the CW, we have season two of Kung Fu, which I'm very excited to have back. I'm interested to see where season two takes us. Got a little bit here and there, obviously diving more into Nikki's family, like some stuff kind of got unearthed last season and some reveals that are going to come back to kind of haunt Nikki and her family. But uh, most of season one storylines were pretty much resolved, but some of those threads are carrying over this season. So I'm curious whether like a lot of the how much of some of the other stuff from season one will carry over. Um, but I, I really enjoyed season one, so I'm very excited to see where season two ends up taking us. I wonder, will it be just as supernatural as the first season was, or maybe not as much? I'm, I'm curious to see. On March 11th on Prime Video, we have Upload Season 2, which this kind of took me by surprise, because I hadn't heard anything about the show for a while, so I wasn't expecting this. I did kind of uh, see the trailer pop up, but I decided not to watch it, because I was like, you know what? I want to kind of go into this not knowing as much, you know, uh, but if you're unfamiliar with the premise behind it basically it's kind of almost like a metaverse thing before metaverse existed but essentially like it's a vr world that was created for people who die and have their um consciousness uploaded to it and it's very like fun like and funny series but also like it's kind of like got a lot of heart to it as well because like the show show bounces between like all the people living in this virtual world their consciousnesses and you can be whatever you want them to be like you can design yourself to be whatever you want to, to be or you can even um like make your world what it's just like a lot of afterlife fun is what they're kind of dealing with but on the outside we also deal with the people who are monitoring 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 everything and kind of keeping the the system going making sure everyone gets the what they're asking for and what they need so it's just a really neat and fun show like i said i kind of got a little peek of season two but i was like no 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 no. i don't want to know anything especially because i need to rewatch season one because it has been a little while but i know there was kind of a bit of a 
sad ending to season one and I'm curious to see how that all plays out going forward into season two just story wise in general where some of the characters left off. Also on March 11th on the CW we have Charmed season four which I'm very excited about. Obviously spoilers we're in the aftermath of you know uh, Maggie and Mel having well and Harry having lost uh, Macy and now they need to find a new person who is uh, a new charm one to kind of uh, reunite the power of three. So there's at the time you're recording this, at least what I saw, there was a short trailer kind of giving you a tiny, tiny introduction to this new charmed one. But obviously at this point, once again, maybe there's information out there. I haven't looked into it. I don't want to know until the show tells us. But basically, uh, we don't really, at this point, based on the trailer, don't really know much about this person, why this person is the charmed one, why is she Macy's replacement, like how uh, the uh, charmed ones, you know, end up dealing with, how Harry ends up dealing with this in the aftermath of everything with Macy so uh, once again I think it's just interesting because how the original show played out but so there is going to be parallels while also think things being a little different in certain regards of how it was handled but still um, I'm very excited to see uh, what this season has in store for us. On March 20th on the CW, we have the return of Riverdale Season 6, which I'm very excited about. I have not watched any trailers, so I don't know fully what to expect. Technically speaking, we're kind of picking up where the Season 5 finale left off, because obviously the first five episodes, much like The Flash, uh, this was the whole Riverdale um like event so obviously with the, the conclusion of that picking up right where the season five finale left off but with things changing and being a little different but i am curious to see where the story takes us because that creates a thread within itself of like oh someone warning betty and archie to get out of the house because of the bomb hiram um set up so things work out on that front but there are other elements from the previous season that we haven't really fully dealt with that i'm like okay so i'm assuming uh, stuff with Cheryl's probably going to get dealt with like obviously her his like her issues with uh, Riverdale and just like her family's treatment as well as um, TBK and stuff like that so I'm sure a lot of those elements are going to get prom uh, become more prominent as the season progresses but I'm also curious just to see where Riverdale goes going forward as well as uh, you know where all these stories end up taking us and finally on March 30th on Disney Plus we have the series premiere of Moon Knight, which I'm super excited about. Probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most this month. Um, obviously, it's a Marvel character I know next to nothing about. I've heard so many people talk about him beforehand, but just based on the trailer alone, I was like, I am in. I said it before when I discussed the trailer, but it definitely gave me kind of Legion vibes. I think it's going to present like this very interesting, like supernatural psychological element to the uh, that we haven't really seen in the MCU so far. So I'm interested to dive into this character because I think the trailer does a good job of giving you like a tone and feel, giving you some story beats while also still not giving you enough so there probably will be a second trailer whether i'll watch that or not i'll have to wait and see but uh either way i'm so pumped to see you know just uh what this story ends up being getting to know moon knight and potentially the other personalities uh mark specter stevie steve you know uh, you know and really getting to understand uh his situation and circumstances and how you know, obviously, they'll, they'll probably pick and choose what they want from the comics because they typically do. So what they do different from the comics and what they decide to take from the comics, what they decide not to take, that's all going to be really interesting based on what I've heard people talk about the character, about the character from, like, different runs in the comics, too. So I, I'm excited. And that uh, brings this month's watch list to an end, like always. If there's something that's coming out that maybe I wasn't aware of that you think maybe me or someone else would be interested in, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments down below. But really, that's all I'm going to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, full of light to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.